What's up everybody? I'm Jenna Anderson from comicbook.com and I'm here at San Diego Comic Con with the casting crew of Prime Video's Paper Girl series. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hello. Thank Hello. you for having us. So just to start off, um, what has the experience been like of being at Comic Con and getting to celebrate the show? Well, it's our first time. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I think, I think we're, we're having a great time. Yeah. yeah. It's Comic been really Con, fun. Yeah, Comic Con has been our like big thing that we've been leading up to and and you know last year while we were filming it was this big what if and yeah. so it's really great to be here after all our hard work yeah <laughs> it's surreal because I've wa always wanted to come to Comic Con and it's really cool for me that my first time like I'm signing posters and doing interviews and everything and it's just really cool to be here with all of these guys with a project that I love so much I think it's it's great to see it's it's really wonderful to see people gathering together to celebrate content that they really love and care about and I'm just excited to be part of it. Awesome. Do you guys have anything to add? I mean, Cliff and I, this is not our first time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been the best so far cuz just seeing how much people love the comic and comics fans as i'm sure you will know are not always uh happy with adaptations you know and there's just been from the moment i think the first images these guys dropped everyone was like wow they got it exactly right you could just tell the tone and the heart of it so just seeing the way that people have already embraced it without having seen a minute of it it's been breathtaking so um, obviously we're at Comic-Con and it's like the mecca of comic books and collecting and stuff. Is there anything that you guys collect or that you're like looking out for when you're at the convention? Um, I really like looking at everyone's costumes. Yeah, <laughs> that's really cool. I really like pins, Ooh. like the you, those pins, and like <laughs> patches, because mm -hmm. I like how you have them on your jean jacket. Thank I you. like doing that on like backpacks and stuff, so yeah, I'm looking out for those. I, I always tend to take like a napkin. Do you know, sort of a napkin that will say the hotel name on it or that kind of thing. So little things like that. And like Riley said, just seeing costumes and just seeing them set everything up is, yeah. is such an exciting experience in itself. That's awesome. So for Brian, Cliff, and Chris, what has it been like to kind of expand on the world of this show? Because obviously the comic is its own thing, but the show, the first season in particular, really expands upon the mythos. So what has that been like? Just this kind of tremendous privilege. I, I guess it, when you make a show, you, you get to have a bigger conversation. You get to invite a ton of writers into the room and then a ton of great directors and artisans to, to build the sets and then most importantly you get to cast you know actors to fill out these roles and everybody adds something to it. Uh, some of their own personal experience and that can be part of the story or some charge of who they are as a person and that has certainly changed all these characters. Uh, and, and so I think that has been the the most special part of it is it, just starting from such a strong foundation and, and getting to kind of make it bigger and invite people in and, and what it's become I, I think is very faithful to the original but will surprise you. Awesome. Uh, Brian and Cliff, what about you? We never wanted someone to just film the comic like it's a storyboard. You know, the, the whole opportunity there is to, you know, really put themselves into it and, you know, we wanted people to do their best work and I think you can, you know, you can have that by letting them free, letting them go do and follow their own creative impulses. That's awesome. Um, Brian, what about you? Yeah, I think the, the comic book, you know, only takes place over a few nights, uh, a few evenings, and uh, we get to watch these characters, I think, really grow so much more over the course of a season. You get to see how significantly they change. And that's just been such a welcome evolution from, I think, what we wanted to say with comics and what you're able to say with television. So I just, I love it so much. I love that. And then for the girls, what has it been like to kind of balance the larger than life sci-fi elements of the show with like the really intimate character moments? Because there's some very wild things that you guys face up in season one. So what was that like for you guys? Yeah. Well, that's part of what's so great about the show is that, you know, sci-fi fans will be fully satisfied with all these epic moments, but what the show is really about is the connections between the girls and mm -hmm. them finding themselves, and it's a really beautiful coming-of-age story that anyone can find themselves in when watching, because each girl has such a wonderful arc that um, just is such a human experience that... Um, really, as I, as I said, anyone will be able to find themselves in it. I love that. And then for Cameron and Riley, 
um, across the season, you guys kind of meet older versions of yourselves and have that sort of rapport. How, how did you guys find those dynamics with like the older versions of yourselves? Because that feels like such a rare experience as an actor. Yeah, well, I feel like the cool thing about Erin's character is that she starts out to have these expectations set for herself. She wants to work in the White House. She, um, she wants to have four kids. Um, and so how she turns out adult Erin is very unexpected to, I think, not only Erin, but for the audience as well. Um, so it was really, really fun to play off that with Allie, and we had a lot of fun crafting this character as well. Awesome. Um, well, so before we go, I do have a question for everybody. What are you most excited to see fans new and old kind of respond to with the show? I'm excited for them to see like the bit of nostalgia from the 80s, but also like the authenticity of how the 80s is portrayed in the show. Because we don't really romanticize or glorify the 80s in the show, and I love that about it. So I'm really excited for them to like get that little hint of nostalgia with the fashion and everything, while also appreciating the realness of it in both the past and the present. Mm -hmm. And I really hope they fall in love with all the like action and the characters. <laughs> yeah, uh, something that a lot of women who worked with us on, w worked with us on set would say was that they wish they had this show when they were younger because it is a great story of female power and um, just it is a really accurate representation of female adolescence um, where four girls are not portrayed as damsels in distress and instead are their own heroes and um, they have real conversations with one another and have agency in their own lives. Uh, so I really am looking forward to the next generation or current generation or future generation of, of uh, women who either need this show now or needed it when they were younger to get to watch this. I love that. That's so perfectly said. Well, so thank you guys so much for um, taking the time to talk to me. And everyone be sure to watch Paper Girls when it arrives on Prime Video very soon. And keep an eye on comicbook.com for all your San Diego Comic Con coverage.